What's good YouTube? We're at HQ today and today we are talking about the Craft and Ride Air Pad. Air pad sticker, coming with some tools. We've got some stickers, and also for your front pad here. That yeah, looks super jelly. <laughs> Damage isn't too bad. I really thought it was gonna be messed up after that. So it's definitely holding on. Um, it's soft rubber, but it's kind of durable. I'm digging it. All right, so we just got back from testing out the new Craft and Riot Air Pad. First thoughts, this thing is squishy. I like it. It feels good under my foot. We did a bunch of drops, kind of testing it out, some bonks and things like that. And for the most part, like, it's it's squishy. It feels really nice. Like, I feel like when I do drops and the impact on my front foot feels so intense because it's just this piece of wood here that I'm not even ever thinking about my back foot because this is like, I literally can't even feel it. The concave, the concavity, how the con convexity, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for, but this part of the board that's kind of curved like this, um, it fits my foot great. I actually really like it. Another cool part that they added was this little, it's hard to see, but this little, it's like a ridge along the end of the foot pad here that doesn't allow dirt and debris and rocks and stuff to get underneath the foot pad. Because one of the worst things that can happen is puncturing your battery box. It can literally catch fire, it's, it's not good. So the fact that they built this metal plate underneath here and then they also have this little ridge on here to protect things from getting under there, for trails, this is probably a killer foot pad because um, things won't get caught under there, you won't be standing on it, you won't be doing drops and having a rock inside there and puncturing through your battery box. Uh, it's really nice. You know, the metal plate inside here is definitely the move when it comes to these foot pads. I think that's something that other manufacturers might have to consider just because the fact that when you screw this down on here, it's so snug and tight, like it just feels right. It doesn't feel like a screw is gonna pull through here and you're never gonna see that screw again or it's gonna go so far in there it goes into your battery box and hits a battery cell. Like you don't want any of those things to happen. So um, the idea behind this is freaking killer. I love it. Thank you Craft and Ride for doing what you do. Um, I definitely think that this is a pad that people are gonna keep their eyes on. Uh, it's really nice. The grip tape that comes with it, stock too, it's like, it's it's Craft and Rides grip tape. It's really nice. I think it's a little stickier than I would like, but it comes with this one and a front one. We did not put it on here, but it does come with the front one to replace that if you want to. One thing I would like to see is potentially a lower version of this. And when I say that, I mean like the, con, the convex, the concavity of this. <laughs> um, 
it just, it's a little too much if you're trying tricks and things like that because it's so, it's so steep on the sides like this. Depending on how you jump with your feet, um, there is a possibility to kind of toss it and throw it a little bit weird just because of how tall these are. But again, nitpicking, I think it's killer. I think you should definitely try it out for yourself. Craft and Ride, you guys killed it. Thank you so much for letting us test this thing out. If you guys got any questions, hit us in the comments below. Otherwise, smash that subscribe button and we will see you next time.